guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you this purple November-ish. I don't really know what to call this look but it's my go-to in the evening at the moment and it's actually really really simple to do so I hope you guys like it. I'm also going to be doing a little makeup giveaway in the description so make sure you check down there if you want to win anything. I'm using primer because it really really breaks me out. I'm going to jump straight into foundation. This one is by Dior and it's their cushion foundation in the shade 030. I love this foundation. I think it's my favorite foundation I've ever, ever tried, which it should be because it is so freaking expensive, but it's definitely worth it because the finish this gives, like it looks like skin, it feels like skin, it's super radiant, it's, it's amazing, I love it. Like I said, it is really expensive, so I'm gonna try and find some alternatives down below. I mean, I say this is expensive, you also get four extra refills, which is four extra foundations, so it kind of works out. I don't know, am I just selling myself a dream yeah kind of for concealer i'm using this one by nyx and i've actually been starting to use this on like the center of my cheeks rather than right underneath my eyes and i feel like it just looks a lot more natural and it also blends out a lot more easier as well so i'm just applying it there i'm also going to be applying some on my blemishes as well and also on my chin because i kind of want to highlight my chin a little bit that sounds really weird and then I'm just using this Soeva brush, which I always use because it's honestly perfect for concealer. And I'm just blending that all out. I also wanted to say, I promise you, I'm not angry. I'm not upset in this video. I'm actually really happy and content at the moment, but my resting bitch face doesn't allow that to be shown. But I have the worst resting bitch face, so it looks like I'm always angry. I promise you, I'm not. Like I'm smiling on the inside, I promise. powder you guys could probably guess what this is with your eyes closed of course it's my laura mercy translucent setting powder it is the best powder like i've tried so many different powders this week especially just to try and find something new i've come back to this i really love it and for bronzer i use this really cute small little one from benefit this is the hula bronzer this is from their christmas package that they sent me that's why it's super tiny but this is my first time using this and I really like it the color is perfect it's really pigmented I was so surprised at how pigmented it was but it's such a nice shade for bronzer because it's slightly gray so it's really good for contouring as well so I just like contoured my nose out a bit too for blush I use this one by Sigma and this goes perfectly with my new hair color if you didn't already know I dyed my hair again, that's why it's like so much more icy, but this blush just complements it really well. So I apply that more on my cheekbones than the apple of my cheeks, just because my cheeks are quite big anyway, so I don't want to accentuate them anymore. By applying it on your cheekbones, it kind of just lifts and slims your face more. My brows, it's kind of switched up a little bit, so I'm using this pen from Benefit, and I'm using the lightest shade, which is really, really blonde, and I use this not to fill in my brows, but to cancel out all the black, because I obviously have jet black eyebrows and platinum blonde hair, which doesn't go great together, so I'm just taking out all the black that I can, um, and it just lightens this, so as you can see, one is black, one is lighter, you guys get what I mean? So I'm just doing the same to the other side, making sure I'm taking out as much black as I possibly can before I fill them in. And then I'm switching to this next color, which is a darker brown. And this is where I fill them in and actually like make a shape with them. So I do still like my brows quite dark, but they can't be black just because it looks a little bit too weird. So this is what I've been doing at the moment and I think it looks a lot better. So if you are someone who dyes your hair a lot or you've just dyed your hair, I really recommend this pencil slash pen thing i don't really know what to call this but it has so many different colors in i used it whilst my hair was black i'm using it while my hair is this color you really don't need any other brow products so like i said i'm just filling everything in creating a shape making them more defined and then i'm using a spoolie just to brush them through but that is my current brow routine so for the eyes i'm using the Too faced chocolate bar palette and i used to use this every day last year i don't know why i stopped it's such a good palette but i'm using the shade milk chocolate in my crease and this is actually quite a gray toned brown so you could also use this to contour if you wanted to i mean it would be a bit of a harsh contour but it could definitely work just using a fluffy brush making sure that's all blended in 
Then I also went in with a darker brown shade in the outer corners. This one is called Semi Sweet. It's a lot more warmer. And I applied that, like I said, on my outer corners, worked it all the way through. And then I also applied some underneath my eyes as well, which tickles me so bad. Like, I don't know why. Eyeliner, I used this Felt Tip by Pixie, which is actually really, really good, but I just suck at eyeliner. So it took me ages. I finally got them equal. And then I thought, oh, let me add a tiny bit more and completely mess the whole thing up and had to start again, which was really fun, great time. But then I just added some lashes. These are the texture lashes, I'll link them down below. And then I applied some mascara on my bottom lashes. This one is by L'Oreal and it's the Baby Roll Mascara, which you guys know I rave about this all the time. It's a really, really good mascara. As you can see, like lengthens your lashes, makes them really black and long. Great mascara, and it's also a drugstore too. Finally, for the lips, I'm using this one by NYX, and I was so surprised at how pigmented this was. I really wasn't expecting it because it was so inexpensive. But like with most dark lips, this was super patchy, and to be able to get the color I wanted to, I either had to apply so many different layers, or use a technique that I always use with darker lipsticks, and that is to use a brush to blend it out, and that just completely evens it out, so definitely try that if you want to do a darker lip. I added some shimmer onto my eyes as well, this one is creme brulee from the same palette, and I dragged it down into my inner corner as well, just to brighten them up a little bit. My eyes were really matte, and I just wanted something a little bit more shimmery and glowy, so I applied that on my lids, and my inner corners. And then lastly for highlight, I'm using this palette by Nip and Fab and I'm using the shade that is in between the gold and the pink. It's honestly the perfect in between. Apply that on my cheekbones, brow bone, nose, and that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, I am doing a giveaway. It is a Dior lipstick and two Chanel eyeshadows. So if you do want to enter, all the information is down below. I'm also filming a vlog this week. So hopefully that'll be up really, really soon. But I love you guys so much. Remember to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.